On your mark. Get set. Go. Italy. Italy. Italians are from Italy. I think that's supposed to be made of marble. Right. Makes sense. Because marble comes from Italy. They put a lot of thought into this game. <laughs> I, I feel like you're making a slight at the fact that I it's love set. this game so much. You think I'm making fun of you? Yeah. I'm making fun of the game. It just doesn't age well. It ages amazingly. I don't know what game you're watching. But I'm watching one that's amazing and it's aged beautifully. Maybe this game's just too like extreme. Like a fine older lady. Maybe this game's just too extreme. It's too extreme for you. No, this is one extreme. I was hoping you'd say, no, that's the sequel. Oh. Uh, but I'm... I can't think that fast when I'm <laughs> dealing with the extremity of this situation. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> I don't even... Oh, those are baskets of grapes. <laughs> <laughs> That's what that was. Yeah, you just riding your bike down the street. Whoa. You gotta watch out for the baskets of grapes everywhere. In Italy, all over the yeah. place. And just the tractors in the middle of the road. It gets even more Italian, though. This They really went all out on this one. I yeah. To say. Oh, my God. A city appears out of nowhere. Don't spoil it. <laughs> Chickens. Whoa. Grow off. Grow off. This cardboard tractor. Aw, oh, gross. <laughs> cardboard tractor. That's, um, that reminds me of this one time I was in, I think it was Niagara Falls, New York, and we were driving, and I saw this front of a building that I'm like, that's a really cool building, and then we drove past it, and it was a, it was a complete, like, cardboard cutout of a building. It was a fake building. It was a fake building. I mean, it wasn't cardboard, it was wood. Where? Where was it? Uh, in Niagara Falls, New York. Really? Yeah. What was the purpose? I think it was like advertising new development that oh. was going there. <laughs> but it was just the weirdest thing. I'm like, I knew this was kind of a ghost town, but I didn't know it was completely artificial. <laughs> yeah, Niagara Falls is our uh, doppelganger. Whoa. Sort of. Uh, there's Niagara Falls, New Here, I'll give you a little geography lesson, I guess. Uh, Niagara Falls, New York is directly across the border from Niagara Falls, Ontario. So two cities of the same name, but one's Canadian and one's American. Isn't that awesome, guys? Learning. I think, I always thought that was pretty cool. But Canada has the better side for tourism, so if you want to come to see the falls, you want to go to the Canadian side. I feel like most people that come over here don't even know which side is which. Like, a lot of them don't even realize that they've crossed the border yeah, a lot in of people either don't, direction. For some reason, people don't really realize that they're actually in Canada. It's like, okay, did someone ask you for your passport? Okay, yeah, no, they have to go the other way. Yeah, you're in Canada, brah. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. I think people are just expecting things to look different, you know? Or maybe not have, like, like build, a, a buildings. And, maybe they're expecting, like us to not have built buildings or like businesses because a lot of people think that we're all like lumberjacks and stuff still i don't know how like how prevalent that misconception is have you seen anymore. have you seen rick mercer's talking to americans yeah but like in 1995 i saw it yeah whoa around the time that this game came out yeah full circle we probably don't have anyone uh, watching that that information is new to. Maybe one or two. Probably, yeah. Well, you know, we round up to an even 30. Right. We might have someone from outside of, uh, I don't know, Ontario. Outside of Ontario. Outside of Ontario. Yeah, our hopes is to get a nice even 30 subscribers for each of our yeah. channels. That's our goal currently. Look at this architecture. Whoa. So that'd be cool on the daily. We got 26. We're really close. For this one, we've only got 10 on Super Mega Fantasy Bees. Get out of here. Yeah! Get out of here. Getting 30 subscribers would be pretty extreme. But not really. <laughs> hey, I'm in 10th place. Oh, you're doing I think so much better. This is the best I've done this entire race. Yeah, but, uh, did you pick a character that was good with the? Bike? Oh no, I forgot. 
So you probably, Even though I said it like five minutes ago. You'd probably be doing better if you yeah. did that. Yeah, if so I here's actually the city. this. Yeah, this is the city. Eat something, I don't know what it says. If I crash near a sign, I'll, uh, I'll get close to it so you can read it. Eat spaghetti. Eat spaghetti. Eat, I can't. Eat at Joe's, probably. Eat at Joe's, that's what it says. Remember yeah. that joke, eat at Joe's? Yeah. No. You don't remember eat at Joe's? No. It's just in everything. Eat at Joe's. Just on every TV show. Are you making show. this up? No. Are you doing no. anything? I'm not making You're, do you're doing it everything. I'm not doing anything like that. Leaning Tower Pizza. Leaning Tower of Pizza. Just in the middle of a... Just a square. Just a square. Just right in the middle. Yep. 100% accurate. Whoa. Yeah, Eat at Joe's is like a running joke amongst everything in the 90s. And I completely forgot about it until I just saw that. I'm going to determine that you're making this up until you can give me factual evidence, i.e. a Wikipedia article. A Wikipedia article on the running gag of Eat at Joe's? Yeah. I'll try. Well, you'll probably have to do it next race, because I think that's the finish line. Just All to right. close it doesn't even say finish. It's just close. It's just a close line. It's just a clothing line, but I got 85 yeah, extreme bucks. Because it's closing. Well, Oh, I, no. no. It's a stretch. You're stretching it. I'm trying to make it make sense. Eat at Joe's. Joe's Diner, placeholder name. Joe's Diner is a placeholder name for a fictional or hypothetical Everman's restaurant. What? Although there are franchises that use the name, its rhetorical use is often to describe a small local business contrasted against large businesses or franchises. Wow. The phrase eat at Joe's is a complimentary fictional or hypothetical typical advertisement for such an establishment and has itself become a snow clone in the form of X at Joe's, eat at Y's, or simply X at Y's. It has also been noted that Joe's Diner is an example of a weak name that would likely be unsuccessful suing another Joe's Diner in another state. Wow. That's from Wikipedia. Wikipedia, please don't sue. Oh my god. <laughs> the information age is a beautiful time to be alive. Right. I'll tell you that much. And we'll dicks, see... dicks, dicks, da 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 dicks. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you next time in Utah. See ya.